What's going on everybody? This is Jeff with Altcoin Buzz. So we're going to talk about Request Network. This video is going to be about Request Network. If you're new here and this is the first time you're watching a video like this, if you enjoy videos like this, you can click subscribe at the end of the video or at any moment. And if you've been watching and you like when videos like this drop, go ahead and click that bell button next to the subscribe. So what is Request Network and why have I chosen to do a video about this cryptocurrency? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at that. So sometimes I get to uh, read some of your comments. I'm going to like this. This is from Frank L. Why are only so few YouTubers talking about REQ, Request Network? It looks like it could be one of the biggest cryptocurrencies in 2018. Mark L., I hope you picked up some before, uh, before this big update on Friday. Unknown, I just got some more today. All right, so... That, th this kind of communication caught my attention. I read some comments. I obviously don't read all of them. There is um, a significant amount of comments to read. But this this one I did read and I caught it caught my attention. So I said, you know what? What is this request network? If these guys are talking about an update that's coming on Friday. So I was like, well, if these guys are a part of the community and they got some valuable information and I'm a medium to deliver the information to the larger part of the community, um, <laughs> I was like, well, I better uh, look into this and see if we got something for for the for y'all you guys out there. So thanks to Frank L for this find, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on with this. So um, hit the market back in October. Uh, they're about five cents, currently sitting at twenty seven cents, and um, it definitely the Satoshi count is trades excellent against uh, Bitcoin. That's for sure. The, the Sats, but you know, I, I wanted to know more about the Request Network, so I went over to their website and I saw what it says. It says, the Request Network, the future of commerce, a decentralized network for payment process request. So in my head, I'm like, hmm, okay, sounds interesting. What all, what all do they do, though? Because I've heard this term before, using the blockchain for commerce and decentralized payment requests kind of rings a bell a little bit. So I pulled down here and I was looking around and I was like, hmm, okay. Requests can, can be detected and paid in a secure way without the need to involve a third party, you know, and I was going over some of this, which most of these cryptocurrencies tend to have. And um, I was like, okay, this seems like a pretty cool project so far. Then I was like, you know what, I need to go to look at the white paper. So I read the white paper. Well, I didn't read the full white paper. But um, this particular this particular page here caught my attention. So... I was like, what? I need to I need to learn more about this commerce stuff that they're talking about and how they're going to secure it. So I, so I was looking at this. It's it's this uh, diagram here. Let's look at two examples. Bob asks Alice for a payment. Then he creates an invoice request and relays it to the blockchain. Alice's wallet detects the request and processes the payment. So I was like, hmm, that's kind of interesting. I was like, Alice didn't have to do anything because Alice's wallet detected the request. In the case where Bob was on Amazon and Alice was making a purchase, Amazon creates a request on the blockchain. Alice's phone analyzes the blockchain, blockchain and detects the request, sends a notification, and she agrees to, to pay. Request offers. Okay, so this is where I, I, I really got excited because it says, security, since it's not necessary to share banking information. That kind of caught my attention. Because why are we always having to share our banking information all the time? And it's kind of, it, not only is it um, is, is not so secure, but it's also really annoying. Like, <laughs> I don't want to have to always memorize all these account numbers and routing numbers and all this stuff for anything, right? So, simplicity, since it requires only a, one only click to a button. So, simplifying the payment processing. I'll tell you, I'll tell you where this really gets me going. And... <laughs> Like, uh, for example, on a GoFundMe, I've, I've seen some GoFundMes for friends, you know, this and that. They'll be like, fund me for this or fund me for that. I mean, I'm not going to get too far into what the cases are, but you get the point. And I'll wake up in the morning and I'll be like, man, my good friend needs some, uh, you know, they need this and that. And I'm, So I'll be like, all right, I'll throw them 10 bucks, right, yeah, for their GoFundMe because it looks like it's a worthy cause or they need it or whatever. But then I'll, I'll like, you know, I'll go, I'll go out and I'll be trying to do it and I'm still kind of waking up, you know. <laughs> Maybe I'll go to the restroom, whatever. And um, I'm sitting there, I'm like, man, why are they asking me for my credit card information? I don't have that off the top of my head. In fact, my wallet's in the other room. 
and I got to get going to work. I got to get, get out the door. And I'm like, this is so annoying. And then, they, and then I, you know, over time, this happens, 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 right? Where I just want to click one button and say, just take my money. <laughs> you know, just, can I make the transaction any simpler? But because of the way it is right now, it's so complicated and it didn't, it's like they say, oh, Apple Pay is supposed to be the solution, right? You just hit that button. I guess that kind of has been a solution, right? But many of these places still don't take that. Like every time you order something on Amazon, what do they want from you? They want you to um, enter your correct credit card information, at least for me, maybe for you, they don't, I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong. But I just think like, let's just do this one click thing. And if the blockchain can help with that to make it more secure, by all means, request network, come on down. You know, so you can come through here, check out the the, the white paper here of uh, everything they got going on. I mean, there's a lot on this white paper. It goes into details. And as you know, sometimes when you invest in a cryptocurrency, it's best to read the white paper. But it's not always the easiest thing to read because it's kind of long, right? But, you know, you get all this great information here. And, and for some of you uh, in-depth people who are meticulous... I highly recommend that you take the opportunity to read this white paper and let us know what you think of this white paper. So with all that being said, obviously we like this cryptocurrency. I took a look here. I wanted to know what's up with their team, right? I'm like, okay, so who's their, who's their team? I come on here and I, I, I find out about this guy and, and you know, I, I could click on their Instagram. I could click on their Twitter like this, you know, see what he's up to passionate about blockchain, universal and Universal income and digital nomadism. All right, that's kind of an interesting uh, uh, headline, right? He's a co-founder, all right? So you got another co-founder here. Digital nomadism, for those of you who are not aware of that, basically it's like use the technology of the internet to go anywhere, live anywhere, do anything. As long as you've got uh, access to the internet, you can basically wander the world like a nomad. Co-founder and CTO at request, YC alumni working on blockchain Ethereum. So th this guy's from Germany, and we don't know where he's from, but um, you know, the the universal income thing is an interesting subject all in of itself. It's basically where people just get paid a universal income for um, for existing, pretty much. Like it, it it's. In the old paradigm, it's a problem, but in the new paradigm, it's more its more like, hey, why not? You know, we've got all these robots and technology uh, taking jobs, so why not just give people a, a supplemental income? But the, 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 the left side of that or the right side of that would be, um, well, if we give them free income, why are they going to have to work and be responsible? Well, the other side of that would be, well, if we give them more opportunity, they'll do more. So it's very interesting and more more economy will happen because more people are not struggling to pay their daily bills. So that's the universal income stuff. And, uh, but yeah, just to have that in his, as his, um, intro is very interesting. I would say it said it to me, it's, it says something about who he is. Now I don't know him personally, but obviously these words that he chose to talk about, um, are interesting to me. So, just knowing the people behind the network, can you trust them? Do you think they got, do, do they have the same core values and morals and whatnot that, that you, you stand by? And I would say that, you know, without knowing these, we, these guys, we don't know, but uh, definitely looking at their project from a position of what are they up to? Very interesting. Look at this. They're built with Civic, OX, Aragon, Kyber Network, supported by Combinator, um, Quantstamp, right? So it looks like, um, man, what a project, huh? So, um, if you look at the roadmap here, launch to token launch Q4, first release of requests working with Ethereum on testnet. So I believe they're an ERC20 token. Release of the API to create, read, and update requests. Release of the technical papers discussing architecture upgrades and accounting implementation details. Deploy the website to create visuals. All right. So you got Q3, Q4, we're coming up into Q, Q1. Let's see, here we go. The first, the first iteration of requests working with Ethereum on mainnet. Deploy management of cryptocurrencies to request ERC20 tokens. 
working on partnerships with accounting, payment, and audit firms, launching the pay with request project and online button, which will offer an alternative to the traditional pay with PayPal and pay with credit card methods. Okay. See, these guys, these guys are, um, yeah, I'm glad I found them. So thank you, Frank, for uh, introducing us to them because I like what they're up to and um, giving us more alternatives is something that, that I think the industry or the commerce and the internet and tech needs. Every, every company needs to have competition. There should not be monopolies in anything because that means that it's centralized. So decentraliz decentralization means like it's not just one group of people who control everything. That's the whole point of going away from centralized. So very interesting to see um, competition in the space. And <clears throat> if we're just looking at the total supply, look at they got almost a billion circulating supply or uh, circulating supply is 640 million, but just under a billion for total supply. Now, if I was to say, where could this company go uh, in 2018? I, I, I don't see why it couldn't double, but we'll see. Double in, pro in market cap, so probably keep an eye on that. Also, guys, share in the comments if you have any other cryptocurrencies like this that you'd like us to talk about. Take a look at the markets here. Binance, Ether Delta, Qcoin, Liqui, Mercatox, Cause. Um, it's just a very interesting cryptocurrency to keep an eye on. Request Network. I actually bought some today. Doesn't cost a lot to get a lot. <laughs> I mean, you could get like a thousand of these for like $250, something like that. So we'll see where it goes. I mean, I, I don't, I, I just got introduced to it tonight. I'm talking about it tonight. I'm, I'm acting as a medium for, uh, Frank who's got a very interesting coin to look at and I'm delivering it for you guys. Uh, if, like I said, if you got more coins to look at or more cryptocurrencies for us to explore and discuss and share with the community, I'm down for that. I'm up for that, whatever you want to say. And then, um, oh yeah, by the way, if you're uh, on Instagram and you want to follow us, feel free to hit us up on at altcoin buzz. Um, yeah, we started this about 24 hours ago. So it's okay. I get, apparently a lot of you guys are on Instagram, so that's cool. Also, Twitter, man, this thing's surging too. I really like Twitter, actually. Um, Altcoin Buzz IO. So, if you're not already um, following us on Twitter, you can follow us there. And if you're trying to get a hold of us, if you're trying to find the links to our channel, you can always go right here and follow us on our social media. This little globe here is our Twitter, our Facebook, and our Instagram. So, anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in. Like I said, if you're new here, you can subscribe. If you like videos like this and if you've already subscribed you can click that bell and get notifications when videos like this drop so thank you to frank and uh we'll see you guys next time